When we talked about fractions, we met the idea of the multiplicative inverse. Now that we have negative numbers, we also have an additive inverse. What is it? Every number a has an additive inverse. We'll call it negative a. So that if we add a number to its additive inverse, we get 0. It's easy to see, thinking about our rules for addition, that the additive inverse of a number really is its opposite. So that negative a means what it usually does. So if we have 1 and a half plus the opposite of 1 and a half, right? Opposite signs, so we subtract the absolute values. Well, these have the same absolute value, so it's just 0. Or if we have negative 5 plus the opposite of negative 5, that means negative 5 plus positive 5, still 0, right? A number and its opposite always have opposite signs and the same absolute value. So we subtract the absolute values and we get 0. Now, the nice thing about this property is that we can use this to get out of having to memorize those subtraction rules. Remember we said that division could be written as multiplication by the multiplicative inverse. Well, it turns out that subtraction can be rewritten as addition of the additive inverse. So if we want to subtract, for example, negative 3 minus negative 4, we can rewrite that as negative 3 plus positive 4. And then we can use the rules for addition. Opposite signs, we're going to subtract the absolute values and the sign is going to be positive because positive 4 has the larger absolute value. So negative 3 minus negative 4, same as negative 3 plus 4. It's positive 1. 